There are 12 months in a year. Aaron and I don't see any given year as being divided into 12 months, however. Rather, we tend to split it up into significant hunting and fishing seasons. For us, the month of May means the start of the game bird season. As well as a week long trip chasing tar with bow and arrow amongst the scrub and bluffs of South Westland. As winter kicks in, things tend to slow down a tad but usually fit in a few small trips poking about side creeks on the west coast looking for chamois. First sign of spring sees us dusting off the fly fishing gear in anticipation of opening day. and the thought of tasty, fat spring venison just around the corner enters our thoughts. We also find time for another week of hunting tar late in the year. That's if we can find a good window amongst the fickle west coast spring weather. Of course, the hot summer months are ideal for the odd freedive spearfishing mission. And if we can find time, a few days paddling some white water in the kayaks. And then, autumn calls. You all know what it's like. The willow trees start to turn yellow. The days are noticeably cooler, not to mention shorter. The sun sits lower in the sky. Mushrooms start appearing. air feels crisper and morning dews become quite regular. Autumn has arrived and the deer know it too. This time of year is stag time, raw time. While all the other seasons milestones are looked forward to immensely and thoroughly enjoyed for what each one has to offer, the roar always seems to have just that little bit of extra excitement and anticipation attached to it. Yo, yo! How's it going everyone? So that should give you an idea about what Alan and I get up to over the course of the year. Um, which brings us to today. Here you go, mate. Here you go, Rob. Yeah, which brings us to today, um, the first, first day of our 2018 raw trip. Go. We're off. Let's go.
Yo, yo. Good morning, everyone. It's Sparrows Farm on day two now. We got in here late yesterday afternoon, and by the time we set up camp by the truck, at the end of the track, only had time for about, oh, I don't know, an hour and a half's evening hunt. But I uh, just wanted to give you a little wee background story. Aaron actually took a shot at a, a, a white fallow buck yesterday, or well, very, very late in that day. Um, it was almost dark. Just a wee background story on fallow deer and Aaron. <laughs> They're his nemesis animal. He's had numerous untold stalks on fellow deer and numerous shots and he's missed every single one of them and he said on the way in here yesterday when we were driving in that if he got a fellow this trip he was gonna he was gonna do a dance and a jig so <laughs> I'm hoping we find this one that he hit last night and I'll get some footage for you guys of him doing a dance that should be good looking forward to that <laughs> we'll catch you later was pretty exciting we're just walking up the spur to find Aaron's buck that he hit last night and came across a um, quite a nice eight with two hinds and he was roaring his head off it was exciting we're only what 50 50 meters from him and we were following up the spur but we just couldn't get close enough every time um, we, you know every time we moved when they went out of sight they'd get another 50 meters ahead um, but shit, <laughs> it's exciting when it's all happening that close. Then I had, um, we lost them as they went along the spur and I caught up with them again uh, over on another knob. And I had a hind and yearling at about 10 or 12 metres. Uh, I was inside the scrub edge and they were just outside, but um, had a standoff for a couple of minutes and old story, the old wind hit the back of the neck and gone. So we're just going to have a bit of a break and commence the search for Aaron's buck. Did the old bloodhound do his thing? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, as I told everyone, when when we find him, what are you going to do? <laughs> I'll, do it. I'll do it before the camera's on. No way, you're doing a dance. <laughs> you said I'd dance a jig if we found him. So. What just happened, Aaron? Looks like I have to dance a jig. You do. <laughs> <laughs> you do. <laughs> Found him, eh? Only, um, probably as, as the crow flies, probably only stone dead 60 metres from where I hit him last night. We fell over back there. Didn't bleed out much. No. Perfect shot though. Yeah, got him right, but hard case. I was saying to Matt last night, buddy, um, when I came up on the wee, on the ridge top, um, there was a few fellows scattered around, and I was quite keen, obviously, just to get a fellow. But then I heard a bit of croaking. And some antlers, so there's obviously another buck there too, and um, it's pretty early. I mean, it's only March the 26th yesterday, and um, yeah, they were croaking, so whether yeah. it's young animals, but yeah, bloody rat, it's good stuff. Hey, mate. Yeah, a bit of bad luck with the fellow, haven't you? Yeah, I have, mate. I have ended the ended the kudu with a buck too, so I'm wrapped. Rightio, let's see it. Oh. <laughs> Come on. I'm not doing it on the camera. Yeah, you are. You have to. Oh, uh, I do want. <laughs> I do one for the girls. <laughs> That's <the> ticket. <laughs> jig, 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 jig. Happy with that? Oh, I'm stoked, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. We talk about bloody. Uh, you know, the old tail was a highlight, obviously, for me. 
in November, but um, eight years of eight years of trying, but it's been a while for a fellow too, so I'm, I'm really wrapped to love a little buck, never lost. Should be good eating too. He's fat. Mm. Tree rut. Yep, no, he'd be good. Awesome. see me yeah right. I can't find Aaron <laughs> <laughs> just off on our evening hunt uh, day two winds winds going all wrong for us but um we have to do a big detour to get the wind right for where we want to go so here we go that gets a stag yeah So we've come up the creek and we've spied four hinds. Guessing there's a stag with them, so the stalk's on. So we're gonna try, I'm gonna try and stick with Matt with the camera and actually get some footage uh, of them hunting. So Wynn's done the old switcheroo and it's actually coming down the creek now, which is, uh, which is good for us. So I guess they're about 250 away at the moment.
So what happened, mate? The wind. Us up. <laughs> your big feet? Did your big feet have anything to do with it? Nah, I'm quiet as a mouse. Nah, bloody wind. Yeah. Yeah. As expected. You know, it's like when it's quite gusty, but um, as expected, it's sort of swirled and back eddies and we've had a couple, well, we've had one good chance to cut up the creek on those deer, but um, they spook pretty soon. So, Frustrating. Yeah. So we decided what to do next, we haven't got a long light left, so we roared at the other boy across the river and he's, um, he didn't like the sound of that, did he? He ran away very quickly. <laughs> yeah, so maybe we'll make a plan and then we'll see where we go from there. How'd you go, Matt? Oh, <laughs> at least we had the wind right this time. Yeah. But I uh, only spooked one along this ridge here. Beautiful yep. ridge. It's got manuka either side and um, grassy yep. little corridors along it. I've seen a lot of deer along here in the past, but um, not this morning. The wind's giving us a bit of jet this trip, isn't it? Yeah. Good this morning though. Yeah. yeah. So what's the plan from here mate? Sit down there and bite the eat. <laughs> yeah, we've got time to kill now, haven't we? Yeah. What's it like being a dedicated cameraman, Aaron? It's quite good actually. <laughs> That's Aaron's good. very nicely offered to leave his bow back at camp and be my cameraman. Yep. Since he shot that fellow buck on day yep. one. Yep. But don't worry. He's just focusing on my ugly face. Yeah. Mm.